A man drank 12 energy drinks in 10 minutes. This is what happened to his organs. JS is a 36-year-old man presenting to the emergency room with breakthrough abdominal pain. He tries to tell the admitting nurse what had happened, but he had to grip the armrest of his chair so he wouldn't empty his stomach onto her shoes again. When JS was 14 in 1998, Pokemon had just come out. Some of the Pokemon in red and blue could only be had if players traded with each other on their Game Boys, but JS didn't have friends, so he could never make the trades needed to get those Pokemon. What JS didn't have as a kid, he tried as hard as he could to have as an adult. If he couldn't have Gengar as a kid, that's a Pokemon that required a trade to get, then JS had a lot of Gengar as an adult. If there were games and movies that he didn't have as a kid, he had them as an adult. But these were material things. If he didn't have friends and recognition as a kid, then he tried as hard as he could to have them as an adult. One day at his workplace, JS thought it would be funny if he chugged 12 energy drinks in 10 minutes. It was going to be legendary, and he would be famous. At first, it felt cold on the way down. He could feel the burn at the back of his throat, and it felt like sores were growing and tearing up his mouth. Immediately after chugging all 12 energy drinks, JS didn't feel well. He was short of breath, and to take his mind off of everything, he started playing some games. JS could feel his heart fluttering. Caffeine didn't really affect him, so JS refused to believe that any of this was related. But then the pain started radiating to his back in between his shoulder blades. He emptied his entire stomach into the kitchen sink. Then he felt even worse. He felt his heart beating in his eyes. JS tried holding out for a few days because he believed that none of this could have been the energy drinks. Those should have already passed through his body, so it must have been something else. But JS finally couldn't eat anymore. He couldn't drink anything anymore. And the pain was so sharp and burning as he calls for 911 and he's brought to the emergency room where we are now. Doctors noticed that JS was nauseous. He emptied his stomach twice on the nurse. His breathing was stressed and he said that his abdominal pain would radiate to his back. He didn't tell them though that he had chugged 12 energy drinks in 10 minutes. A blood test finds that JS has hyperglycemia. Hyper meaning high, glyce referring to glucose, another name for sugar, and emia meaning presence in blood. High sugar presence in blood. Each can that JS drank had more than 50 grams of sugar. 12 cans means that he chugged over one pound of sugar in 10 minutes, so hyperglycemia makes sense. But he chugged those energy drinks more than a day ago. Blood sugar shouldn't be that high after all that time. The pancreas releases insulin to lower blood sugar, and JS's abdomen hurts, and that's where the pancreas is. Another blood test finds that JS has hyperlipasemia. Lipe from Greek lipos, referring to lipids or fats, and ase referring to an enzyme. High fat degrading enzyme presence in blood. Lipase also comes from the pancreas. It helps us digest the fats that we eat in food. Hyperlipasemia means that the pancreas is leaking it out, and if it digests fat, and the pancreas is partially made of fat, then it means that JS's pancreas is starting to digest itself. The abdominal pain radiating to his back. The nonsense meaning that JS has acute pancreatitis. Itis meaning an inflammation of the pancreas because something happened to it, lipase started leaking out of it, and now it's starting to digest itself. Acute meaning that all of this is happening suddenly. Doctors give JS medicines for the pain because it's so excruciating and everything seemed to be going okay, but only for a short time. When body parts appear to be damaged, the immune system reacts. This is to protect you. The problem is, sometimes the immune system overreacts. And it does that overreacting when it shouldn't be reacting in the first place. JS's pancreas is digesting itself and that's body part damage. So the immune system is there trying to protect him from that damage. But when inflammation, pancreatitis, happens in the area, it can start to swell with fluid. And in JS, where his pancreas was supposed to be, it's starting to swell with fluid. Typically, this kind of pancreatitis fixes itself. Even though his abdomen is swelling with fluid, doing surgery and cutting him open could do more harm than good. The body has a way of healing itself, and as a few days pass, things seem to be going well. JS is probably ready to go home, they thought. But JS starts to get the chills. He runs a fever as his blood pressure starts to drop. His heart is trying to keep up by pumping harder and faster, but it's not enough. A blood test finds that JS's organs are shutting down and that he now has an infection. That fluid buildup from his inflamed pancreas is now infected and has spilled into his bloodstream. The immune system detects this and tries to react again by dilating the body's blood vessels. 
but this drops the blood pressure. Oxygen has a hard time getting to his organs like the liver and the kidneys as they start to shut down. JS comes in and out of consciousness as limited oxygen gets to his brain. All of this happening from pancreatitis in JS that came from chugging excess energy drinks. Most people know that energy drinks can be dangerous when consumed in huge excess. If you have one once in a while and you're young and healthy, it's probably not that big of a deal. But if you start chugging multiple cans back to back, then bad things are probably going to happen. Most people immediately think of the caffeine in energy drinks. Too much caffeine can make you wired, can make your heart race, make your breathing become fast. It'll make you shaky. But energy drinks are more than just caffeine, and we don't know exactly how much of any one of these ingredients are in a single can. No one intended for someone to chug five and a half liters of anything in 10 minutes. Whether it's chugging 12 cans in 10 minutes or drinking multiple cans a day every day, we do know that the pancreas can get injured from this and that injury can spiral out of control just like it did for JS. With supportive care and antibiotics, a renewed sense of life, realizing that he had everything that he could ever want, JS was able to make a recovery. Thanks so much for watching. Take care of yourself and be well.